waves to you. Good to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you. So our word for today is opportunity. Opportunity. And I'm going to, as Madeline is walking out in Mississippi, Madeline provided these words for us this week. She actually gave us all five days. And so feel free if you've got five days of words, like this is a word of a day. So, so we want to represent. So Madeline, uh, big shout out to you. And just so everybody knows, Madeline's a UT fan, big Pat Summit fan. She is uh, amazing there in, in, in Mississippi. Alan White even likes her. He doesn't like Tennessee fans. So um, <laughs> it's good to see everybody. The words opportunity, a favorable juncture or circumstances. That was the definition, but it was way too boring for me. So we're going to jump right into it. Here's two people that said this about opportunity. Mike Ditka. Mike Ditka said, success is about, hold on just a second. I was getting a phone call. Success is about taking advantage of opportunity. Success is about taking advantage of opportunity. And then Richard Branson followed it up, and many of you have heard probably me or quote this many times, if somebody offers you an amazing opportunity, but you're not sure if you can do it, say yes, and then go figure it out. Ask, learn later, like learn how to do it later. Tad Niblett's a great example of that. Opportunity arose, said yes, and, and, and I'm seeing all these things happen that where he's like, he grabbed a hold of it way before he had it figured out. And I think that's what Richard Branson was trying, trying to say in this quote. If somebody offers you an amazing opportunity, but you're not sure you can do it, say yes, then learn to do it later. And I went first with entrepreneurs. Like entrepreneurs, if you look at a thriving business of entrepreneurs, it's all about seizing opportunities. Um, and that's the way they look at it. They got to seize the opportunities. They got to be looking for the opportunities. And when they when, when they strike, when an opportunity arises, they jump on top of it and then they figure it out. They learn about it. They figure out how to do, how to do it. Um, but unfortunately, most people let opportunity, they let it slip by every day because we're just unaware of the signals that life throws our way. We just, we, we don't notice it. Um, other times though, we don't take advantage of them simply because we feel that they're nothing more than problems. Opportunities a lot of times arrive in the form of problems and hard work. And we look at it and go, man, that looks like that's ugly. That's got oil on it. That's got, that's got sweat on it. That's got, oh. And some of the times that opportunity, that's the best opportunity. And it's just disguised like that. So when I look at opportunity, I go to back to common sense. Like what's a common sense? You know, I, I'm not the smartest person in the world. So I got to go back. Go. An opportunity is anything that provides you with a chance to change your circumstances for better. If, if something's brought to me that can make me better today, tomorrow than what I was yesterday or the day before. I got to listen. I got to listen. And that's, that's opportunity. Are opportunities everywhere? Do you believe that? Yes or no? According to Adam Sinek, many opportunities we come across are actually disguised. Like I said, they're disguised as hard work, problems, issues, And I'm going to read you this. I'm going to be done. And this, to me, is the coaching moment right here for Brent Palmer today for opportunity. However, to the untrained eye, unable to see the past, the present moment, all opportunities are actually unsurmountable problems that make life difficult, stressful, and hard. 
That is where the mistake is made. Seeing problems as problems rather than challenges that test the strength and your determination. See, the moment that we shift our perspective and begin seeing our problems as challenges is the moment you begin training your brain. We begin training our brain to spot opportunities. Problems may very well be insurmountable. However, a challenge is something you can work with to better your current circumstance. And I think about it. I think about it in my business right now. I think about it in my journey right now. How am I treating these problems, this hard work, these issues? Am I treating them as, as opportunity to show my strength and to rise above? And to grab a hold to the opportunity that it possesses on the other side. I hope this makes sense this morning. This was big for me. It is all about our attitude, whether there are opportunities for us. It's all about our attitude and the way we're thinking about it. So, Andrea, I'll turn it to you. Well, that was a great one, Coach. Can you hear me okay? I can. Absolutely. Okay, good. All right. I'm going to be watching for the shaking heads if I, my internet goes out, but I love this one. So I, what I kind of looked into is what, what do we need to cultivate within ourselves in order to take advantage of the opportunities about us or around us? Because some people like, and we'll, we'll, we see them every day, that it seems like opportunities just fall in their lap and they actually jump on them. And then other people can be a little bit more timid, right? And there could be opportunities swirling around and they're just not grabbed onto. So what qualities do we need to cultivate so that we can grab more of the opportunities that are put before us? So first of all, curiosity. So opportunity wants somebody that's curious. It's looking for people that are you know, trying to dig a little deeper, that ask good questions and that are looking for where opportunity can be found. Next, opportunity is looking for generosity, right? So a generous heart that is willing to give back to others, that's willing to give opportunities to others, that's willing to give that hand up when we are able. Next, opportunity is looking for perseverance. So opportunity is looking for somebody that's determined who keeps persisting, who perseveres despite what seems like could be insurmountable odds and obstacles that are standing in our way. Next, confidence. So opportunity wants somebody that's gonna have a confident demeanor, right? Someone who doesn't doubt their skills, their strengths, their resources, their abilities. Um, next, opportunity wants to play around a little bit. So opportunity is looking for playfulness right? A lighthearted approach of, you know, something that a person that's willing to get a little creative, willing to think outside the box and willing to break maybe a couple of those conventional rules, not laws, <laughs> but some rules, right? Um, next, responsibility. So opportunity really likes people that are committed and that are responsible for their decisions, behaviors, and actions, and someone that doesn't make excuses or blame other people. And then responsibility, or I'm sorry, opportunity definitely appreciates people that can look back with hindsight. So, you know, that they can see beyond this fleeting moment and they can look back and see, you know, what could I have changed in the past? What would I like to see in my future? And then and lastly, gratitude. So opportunity desires somebody with a grateful spirit that you're thankful for anything that life throws your way, no matter how dark or grim that it might be on the surface. So those are all traits that I feel like I need to work on. Um, I'm good at the gratitude, but the rest of them I might struggle sometimes. So I thought that that was really, really powerful this morning. So, oh, Cheryl gave us a, an update in the chat. So um, Tuesday, it looks like um, I'm trying to read it and talk at the same time, but it looks she's like going Cheryl's in, gonna she's be- She's going in for surgery, yes. 
Yes, so we'll have to pray, continue to pray for you, Cheryl. So thank you for the update. Absolutely. And thank you for this one today, Coach. Yeah, this was great. Madeline, thank you for the word. And guys, uh, let's go seize that opportunity. Or, or maybe let's go seize the challenge, like the, the work and the maybe the roughness we're going through right now. Embrace it. Embrace it. Go after it. So love you guys. Grateful for you. Happy Thursday. We'll see you back. Happy, Happy Thursday, Thursday, you guys. Grateful for all of you. Thank you, Brian. Happy Thursday. Happy Thursday.